Hey, hey, everybody, it's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. This is a little special. There's some breaking news. It's very significant if you are an XRP holder. The Secretary General of the United Nations within the last couple of hours made a public speech. And as an XRP holder, I think it is something you are going to uniquely understand. It is one of the many reasons why I personally hold XRP and why this digital asset surpasses 98% of all the other assets in this space. And no, you cannot say that I'm biased because I hold many assets in addition to XRP. So I'm going to briefly summarize the beginning of his speech, but where the point comes that is most significant for the XRP holders, I'm gonna let you hear it from the Secretary General himself. And this, portion of the speech is, yeah, it has great significance. So he does start out by saying that normal rules no longer apply, that the situation that we're in calls for solidarity and that the current responses at a country level will not address the global scale with the complexity we are facing. It's going to require policy action from the G20. And he welcomes the G20 leaders to convene in an emergency summit next week. And this is his clear message, which he would like them to respond to. He believes that we cannot resort to the normal tools in unusual times. Creativity of the response must match the unique nature. The magnitude of the response must match its scale. And in managing this, he thinks we have a very unique opportunity. First, healthcare spending needs to be scaled up. Secondly, injecting cash alone will not be enough. This is not a banking crisis. Banks need to be a part of the solution. Banks must support their customers. They need to focus on the people reducing the cost of connectivity. All right, at this five minute and 40 second mark, it begins with the remittances are the lifeline, especially now. So please have a listen to this. Remittances are a lifeline in the developing world, especially now. Countries have already committed to reduce remittance fees to 3%, much below the current average levels. The crisis requires us to go further getting as close to zero as possible. In addition, G20 leaders have taken steps to protect their own citizens and economies by waiving interest payments. We must apply the same logic to the most vulnerable countries in our global village and alleviate their debt burden. Across the board, we need a commitment to ensure adequate financial facilities to support countries in difficulties. So I'm going to let you listen to the speech in its entirety. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But what he is saying here is that the remittances and the costs associated with those must be brought to as close to zero as possible. And we know that XRP, the digital asset in combination with the RippleNet technology, which has already been undisputably rolled out all over the world, it is used by the world's largest banks, payment transmitters, and digital net banks. So it is positioned uniquely to take on this mandate. When regulation can be passed under these emergency situations and the global community can solve a solvable problem, and if it is embraced, the liquidity needed to make this a reality is doable. If the world decides to walk their talk, it can be done. So please spread this message. If the 10,000 viewers of this video pass on the speech that came from the UN with just three leaders in their own country, educating them with just one sentence that Ripple and XRP can complete this third required tool in this global challenge, you can be a part of the solution as well. Be sure to do it before the G20 meeting next week. All right, everybody, do take care. 
Sayonara for now. Bye-bye.